Hey everybody, Dom here. This is a list of things you wish you knew when you first started playing Minecraft. If you're new to the game, some of the information found here may be useful. Let's begin. Holding the sneak button makes it impossible to fall off most blocks. This is useful to not fall when traversing or building in dangerous locations. In addition, in multiplayer, sneaking also hides a name above the player's head so it can't be seen through blocks. Contiguously jumping and sprinting is faster than just simply sprinting. The downside is continuously jumping costs more stamina slash hunger. It's possible to make torches without mining for coal. By burning logs in a furnace, players can produce charcoal which can be used instead. This is really useful early on when starting a new world. Never dig straight up or down if the other side of what's being mined isn't known for sure. Water, lava, falling gravel, and large underground drops can all be lethal. A dripping effect under a block indicates that there is lava or water above the block. This is useful to avoid digging up into lava or water. When exploring caves and mining, it may be a good idea to place down a block as a landmark to prevent getting lost. One strategy is placing torches only on the left or right walls to easily identify the way back. Torches break falling blocks like sand and gravel. Breaking grass can give wheat seeds. Beds can be used to skip nights. Sleeping through a night in a bed sets a new spawn point for when a player dies. Breaking the bed will reset the spawn point. Using a bed in a dimension that doesn't have a day-night cycle, like the nether or the end, will cause the bed to explode. Unless interrupted, fires lit on netherrack will burn indefinitely. Fire and lava can cause nearby burnable blocks like wood to catch on fire. Fire can spread and burn down houses and forests. Avoid flammable material near fireplaces and cobblestone generators. Similar to fire or lava, cactuses destroy items tossed at them. In the overworld, certain ores can only be found at a certain depth. Iron ore spawns within the lowest 67 layers of blocks. Golden lapis within the lowest 33. And finally, diamond and redstone ore can only be found within the lowest 15 layers. Also worth noting, emerald ore only spawns within extreme hills biomes, and gold can be found at higher depths in mesa biomes. Desert temples are naturally occurring structures. They have a long shaft going downwards under the floor in the center of them. At the bottom of the shaft is treasure and a pressure plate trap that sets off TNT when the player steps on it. In the overworld, most aggressive mobs need darkness to spawn, so lighting up an area can make it safer. Endermen can be fought very easily by standing under blocks. Endermen are three blocks tall, so they can't reach the player if the player has blocks above their head. Weapons can critically hit. Crits deal extra damage. Hitting an enemy with a melee weapon while falling performs a crit. Pulling back a bowstring to the max before letting it go makes the arrow crit. Hitting with a melee attack while sprinting causes the target to get knocked back a greater distance. The poison effect cannot kill players, it can only reduce them to half a heart. The wither effect can kill players. Drinking milk removes temporary status effects such as potion effects and wither. Be careful when mining in strongholds, igloo basements, and extreme hill biomes as there can be blocks that spawn silverfish when broken. One indication that a block has a silverfish in it is that it takes a longer time to mine with tools than other blocks. It's possible to modify the look and sound of the world and interface with resource packs. Resource packs that use higher resolution textures may impact the game's performance. It's possible to make the game look really nice and have better lighting and effects with shader packs. Shader packs require powerful computers to run well and can be used in combination with resource packs. A lot of fun custom maps can be downloaded from the internet. Custom maps range from vast adventures with intricate stories and custom-made loot systems, to mini-games and puzzle rooms, and everything in between. Online server browsers can be used to find servers to play on. Servers range from small communities building together, to massive multitudes of people playing custom game modes and mini-games. Minecraft is a very modifiable game. Many mods and mod packs can be downloaded that radically change the game. Mods range from small tweaks to full-blown overhauls of the game, adding in new items, blocks, mobs, bosses, dimensions, gameplay, and much much more. Anyways, that was the video. This list isn't very comprehensive as there are far too many things to cover, but perhaps a small amount of information found here was useful for new players watching. Thanks for watching! Au revoir!